It's a vegetable that gets no respect. Squash. Even the name could use some work. But NPR's Allison Aubrey tells us help is on the way. Two cannelloni, two chicken, ending two pork. Yes! A renowned chef has a secret to share. It turns out he's not really the creator of all the delicious flavor he serves up. Increasingly, the flavor is created here. We are standing in the middle of the Row 7 trial farm in the Berkshires, Western Massachusetts. We're surrounded by rows of squash, and not the kind you need to smother in marshmallows. Chef Dan Barber has teamed up with Michael Mazurek, a plant breeder at Cornell University. People want delicious, flavorful fruits and vegetables, but the system isn't designed to deliver that to them. Their new enterprise, Row 7 Seed Company, aims to overhaul the taste of vegetables. And they're doing it the traditional way, a la Gregor Mendel, the 19th century monk who showed how genetic traits can pass from generation to generation. Through a cross-pollination, we're marrying those traits, and then we can select for the best of the best generation after generation. And is that what you've done here? It is, and it's all, all around us. I meet a lot of people that might tell me they don't like squash, but then when they try one of these, they're hooked. Missouri says people don't realize that most produce is bred to look perfect on the shelf. But taste, he says, has become an afterthought. The American food culture is hungry for things that taste good. One example, honey nut squash, bred at Cornell, is now sold in supermarkets and farmers markets all over the country. Customers are thrilled about it. At the Farmer stores, Stephen Berez in Woodbury, Connecticut, says the honey nut squash is good for his business and his fields. The yields are very good. Disease tolerance is also excellent, so it makes it easier for us to grow. And uh, the yield makes it more profitable for us to grow so we can afford to keep doing it. And this, this beauty. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah. It looks, it's very vibrant orange. Right. Yeah. You see how tiny they've bred the honey nut squash to be? Well, this concentrates all of the flavor, the color, and all of the nutrients. So what we did here to be as scientific as possible is I added nothing. I just want you to see so that. So nothing in here except squash. Squash unplugged. Bite for a bite. Mm. That's crazy, right? Mm. There's something else in here, too. I mean, it's sort of love. creamy. Oh, it's love. It's OK, love. I got it. That's the magic ingredient. <laughs> Row 7 has launched a beet that tastes melon-like. And a potato called the Upstate Abundance that's bred to taste creamy without adding butter. It's just salt and water. Hi, guys. Barber partnered with the Brownsville Community Culinary Center in Brooklyn, where some kids gave it a try. The potato was bomb. These things right here, these is the money makers. <laughs> <laughs> and that's Barber's goal, to win over a new generation of eaters with flavors from the field. And this is how we serve at the restaurant, just like that, a little salt. If you can't see us, hear us on our Sunday morning podcast, sponsored by Ameriprise Financial.